Dear friends, I am Dr. K. Kannan, Professor of Mechanical Engineering, Anjali Ammal Mahalingam Engineering College, Koyil Vennie. I am happy to meet you again in the lecture, video lecture on the fluid mechanics and machines. And this is lecture number 3.1. We are going to discuss about the fluid statics. The topic for discussion in this lecture, the total pressure, center of pressure, buoyancy, center of buoyancy and metacentric height. We recap from the previous lectures on fluid mechanics. So, we discussed the fluid properties and the pressure and its measurement in the earlier lecture and uh, we will continue with the discussion on fluid mechanics and today we are going to talk about the fluid statics and the learning outcome for this lecture. At the end of the lecture, the student will be able to define the total pressure and center of pressure, calculate the total force and center of pressure in horizontal plane surface, vertical plane surface and curved submerged surface. For the fluid static, there is no relative motion between the fluid layer. The fluid is static like the water in a bucket or water in a tank, water in a dam or lake. So, for the static fluid, the velocity gradient du by dy is equal to 0. The fluid layers are not moving. So, the velocity gradient du by dy equal to 0. And there is no velocity gradient du by dy equal to 0 and the shear stress is also 0. Mu equal to uh, tau equal to mu into du by dy which is also equal to 0. Then the forces acting on the fluid the various forces acting on the fluid. There are two forces. One is due to the pressure of the fluid which always acting normal to the surface, the pressure force. The second one is the force due to the gravity. So, due to gravity called the body force due to the self weight of the fluid. So, these are all the two forces acting on the fluid. And we define the total pressure when a static fluid comes in contact with the surface, either a plane or a curved surface. A force is exerted by the fluid on the surface is called as total pressure. So, because of containing the fluid in a vessel or containing in the fluid in a dam, the pressure acting on the surface is called as total pressure and the total pressure acting normal to the surface. And we define the center of pressure, the point of application of total pressure on the surface is called as center of pressure. So, point in which the total pressure is acting is called as center of pressure and this concept the fluid static the force pressure force and the center of pressure it is used in the design of hydraulic structures like dam it is required to compute the magnitude of the total pressure and to locate its point of application for effective design of a hydraulic structure like dam so we will discuss the first part first topic total pressure on a horizontal plane surface. You consider a liquid, so the fluid in a tank and we have a horizontal surface, so a particular area. So, A is the area of the surface. It is horizontal and parallel to the free surface of the liquid. And the center of the plate is mentioned as P and G. So, the pressure is acting on the center and h bar is the height of the center from the free surface of the liquid. Consider a plane horizontal surface immersed in a static fluid as every point on the surface at equal depth from the free surface of the liquid, the pressure intensity will be equal to the entire surface. So, the pressure intensity on the surface is P equal to rho g into h. So, rho is the density of the fluid, g is the acceleration due to gravity, h is the depth of the surface from the free surface. And the total force acting on the surface F equal to P into area. So, the force pressure force acting on the surface equal to rho g h into A is the area of the surface. Next, we take the vertical surface. Now, the surface is vertical perpendicular to the free surface of the liquid and we have different uh, geometry. We have the B is the width of the elemental strip of thickness dh, h is the height of the dh. 
and G and P are the point, center of gravity and center of pressure. So, the center of gravity is at a distance of H bar and center of pressure is at a distance of H star from the free surface of the liquid. Now, consider an arbitrary vertical surface immersed in the static fluid. Consider the strip of thickness dH and the width B at a depth of H from the free surface of the liquid. So, this is what we, have. we take a elemental strip of the plate at a dis, uh, of thickness dH at a height of H and the width B. The pressure intensity on the strip P equal to rho GH. So, rho GH is the pressure acting on this strip and the area of the strip equal to B into DH. So, this is the area of the strip and the total pressure on the total pressure force on the strip on the elemental strip DF equal to rho GH, the pressure into area B into DH. So, once you have the pressure force acting on the strip, then we can integrate for the entire surface of the plate. We can calculate the total force acting on the vertical plate. So, the total pressure force on the entire surface is obtained by integrating above the equa above equation. Integrating we will get F equal to integral DF equal to rho GH B into DH. So, here rho and G they are constant. So, it is taken out integral H into B into DH. So, H is the height of the elemental strip, B is the width of the elemental strip and the DH is the integration. Now, but we have integral H B into DH equal to H into DA. So, B into DH is the area, elemental area of the surface. So, the moment of moment of surface about the free surface of the liquid, which is area of the surface and distance of center of gravity from the free surface. So, this moment is equal to area of the surface and distance of center of gravity from the surface h into a bar. So, we have f equal to rho g a into h bar. So, h bar is the h bar is the distance of center of gravity of the area of the vertical surface from the free surface of the liquid. And for water, we take rho density as 1000 kilograms per meter cube unless it is specified and acceleration due to gravity g equal to 9.81 meter per second square unless it is specified. So, if the values are not given, we can suitably assume the value for water and the force is given in Newton. So, the f value it is calculated in Newton. So, this is the total pressure acting on the vertical surface. It depends on the h bar value which is the center of distance of center of gravity of the area of the vertical surface from the free surface of the liquid. Next, next we calculate the center of pressure determined from the using the principle of moment which states that the moment of the resultant force about an axis is equal to the sum of moment of the component about the same axis. So, this is the principle of momentum using the using this concept we are going to calculate the center of pressure. So, once again we look at the diagram uh, for the vertical surface consider a point P at a distance h star from the free surface of the liquid where the resultant force f is acting. So, here resultant force is acting. The moment about the force, moment of the force about the free surface equal to f into h star. So, f is the force, h star, h star is the distance from the free surface. So, that is the moment, moment equal to force into distance. The moment of the force df acting on the strip about the free surface of the liquid. So, df into h. So, here for the elemental strip, the force is df and the h is height of the uh, force, height of the uh, distance, uh, height of the elemental strip from the free surface. So, substituting the value rho g h b into d h into h. So, the df we defined earlier rho g h b into d h. Now, the sum of the moment of all the, all such a forces about the free surface a liquid e, e of the liquid, it is integral of rho g h b in d h into h which is rho g h square b into d h. So, rho g is a constant is taken out. So, h square b into d h is the area d a. So, b into d h equal to d a. So, rho g integral h square d a is the sum of moment of all such a forces about the free surface of the liquid. But here we have integral h square d a equal to b h square d h. So, which is uh, which is the I O that is moment of inertia of the free surface about the uh, moment of inertia of the surface about the free surface of the liquid. I O is the moment of inertia 
with respect to the free surface of the liquid. So, therefore, the sum of the moment about the free surface rho g into i o. So, rho g. So, here we, index, we substitute for integral h square d a rho g into i o is the moment of inertia of the surface about the free surface of the liquid. Now, equating the two equations f star f into h star equal to rho g i o. So, substituting for f we calculated f earlier. So, rho g a into h bar into h star equal to rho g i o. So, the h star, h star is the distance of the p, distance of the p from the free surface of the liquid. So, this is equal to rho g i o divided by rho g a into h which is i o by a into h bar. So, h star equal to i o moment of inertia divided by a into h bar. From the parallel axis theorem, we have i o equal to i g plus a h square, h bar square. So, i o is the i g. So, i g is the moment of inertia about the center of gravity. i o is the moment of inertia about the free surface of the liquid. a is the area. h bar is the distance of center of gravity from the free surface. And when i g is the moment of inertia about the ax, about an axis passing through the center of gravity of the area and parallel to the free surface of the liquid, Therefore, we have h star equal to i g plus a into h bar square divided by a into h bar which is equal to i g by a into h bar plus h bar. So, h star equal to i g by a into h bar plus h bar. h bar is the, the distance of center of gravity from the uh, free surface. So, this is the h bar value. So, the say, distance of the center of pressure from the free surface. Now, similarly, the moment of inertia and the geometric property of some of the important plane surfaces are given in the table for our reference. So, the rectangle, the center of gravity from the base equal to d by 2, d is the height of the rectangle, c is the center of gravity, area equal to b into d and the moment of inertia about the center of gravity b d cube by 12 and the moment of inertia about the free surface of liquid b d cube by 3. For triangle, of height h base length b and center of gravity g is the center of gravity from at a distance x. So, x equal to h by 3 and the area equal to b h by 2 and i g moment of inertia about the center of gravity b h cube by 36 and i o moment of inertia about the free surface of the liquid b h cube by 12. And for a circle, so we have diameter of the circle is d and center of gravity is the center of the circle. So, x equal to d by 2 and area equal to pi d square by 4 and moment of inertia about the center of gravity is pi d power 4 divided by 64. And the trapezium of two sides, bottom side, large, larger side is b, smaller side is a and the height of is the height of the trapezium is h. So, x distance of the center of gravity from the base 2a plus b divided by a plus b into h by 3 and the area equal to a plus b by 2 into h and the moment of inertia about the center of gravity a square plus 4ab plus b divided by 36 into a plus b in the h3 power 3. The next topic, the total force on inclined plane surface. So, when the plane surface is inclined, so this is the plane surface, so which is inclined at an angle theta to the free surface of the liquid and we have the value h bar and h star value. So, h bar is the distance of the center of gravity from the free surface, h star is the distance of the center of pressure from the free surface, the force is acting on the surface, In uh, uh, this is the direction of the force normal to the surface and uh, we take a elemental strip of thickness dy at the distance y from the uh, point, I mean intersection of the point O. So, we take a OO is the line which is perpendicular to the plane surface, the angle uh, is 90 degree here. Consider a plane surface of arbitrary shape immersed in a liquid in such a way that the plane of the surface makes an angle theta with the free surface of the liquid. So, this is the angle theta made by the plane surface. The plane surface if produced meet the free liquid surface at O. So, if you extend it here, it is the point O. So, the axis O, O dash, O, O is perpendicular to the plane of the surface. So, this is the axis reference axis which is perpendicular to the plane of the surface. Now, we take the same diagram again that y bar is the distance of center of gravity of inclined surface from OO. So, y is the uh, y is the 
y bar. So, y bar is the, the distance. So, here y bar is the distance of the center of gravity from the inclined surface and y star is the distance of the center of pressure about OO. So, from the reference point y star is the distance of center of pressure from the OO. From the figure we have sin theta. So, we take sin theta which is h by y which is equal to h bar by y bar which is equal to h star by y star. Now, we consider a small strip of area A dA at a depth of h from the free surface at a distance y from the axis OO. So, from the OO we consider a small elemental strip of area dA at a distance y from the free surface, y from the OO, axis OO. The pressure intensity of the strip P equal to rho g h and the pressure force Df equal to P into area of the strip. So, rho g h into dA is the area of the elemental strip. Now, total, pre total pressure force on the surface by integrating this equation, we will get the total pressure force F equal to integral Df, which is integral of rho g h into dA. We have h equal to y sin theta. So, we will substitute. So, F equal to rho g y sin theta dA. So, rho g sin theta is constant. So, it is taken out. So, we have integral y into dA. But, we have integral y into dA equal to a into y bar. So, F equal to rho g sin theta into a into y bar. So, substitute for integral of y dA equal to a into y bar. So, we have y bar equal to y bar sin theta equal to h bar from the definition of sin theta. So, F equal to rho g a into h bar. So, the total force acting on the inclined surface equal to rho g a into h bar. And again, the center of pressure is determined using the principle of moment which states that the moment of resultant force about an axis is equal to the sum of the moment of the components about the same axis. So, using the same principle, we are going to calculate the center of pressure using the principle of moment. moment. And the pressure force on the strip, so we defined earlier Df equal to rho g h into dA, which is rho g into y sin theta into dA. So, the moment about the force, moment about the axis OO, so moment equal to force into distance. So, df into y is the distance. So, rho g y sin theta dA into y, which is rho g sin theta y square dA. The sum of the moment of all such forces about the axis OO, so we calculate, so integrate this equation, integral rho g sin theta y square dA equal to rho g sin theta integral y square dA. Now, integral y square dA is the moment of inertia of the surface about the axis about the axis OO, so which is uh, which is called as IO. IO is the moment of inertia of the surface from the reference line OO. So, sum of the moment of all the forces about OO equal to rho g sin theta and IO. So, substituting here. So, this y integral y square dA equal to IO. So, substituting in this equation, the sum of the moment of all the forces about OO is rho g sin theta into IO. The moment of the total force F about the axis OO is also given by F into Y star. So, Y star is the distance of the center of pressure OO. So, equating the two equations, we will get F into Y star equal to rho g sin theta into IO. So, Y star equal to rho g sin theta by F into IO. So, we have Y star equal to H star, H star by sin theta. So, F equal to rho g A into H star and I O equal to I G into I G plus A into Y bar square. So, the substituting all the values in the above equation, we will get H star by sin theta, Y star equal to H star by sin theta, rho G sin theta, F equal to rho G A into H bar plus I O equal to I G plus A into Y bar square. So, simplifying H star equal to sin square theta, sin square theta divided by A into H bar into I G plus A Y bar square. So, this is the center of pressure from the free surface of the liquid. Now, y bar equal to h bar by sin theta, then h star equal to sin square theta by a h bar plus into i g plus a into h bar square by sin square theta. So, finally, h star equal to i g sin square theta by a into h bar plus h bar. So, this is the center of pressure from the free surface of the liquid, uh, free surface of the liquid for the inclined plate. Next, we discuss the curved, sub, sub, curved surface submerged in a liquid. So, this is the curved surface 
which is submerged in a liquid and here we take a small element of area da and the forces acting normal to the surface normal to the area is df and the df it has got two components horizontal component and the vertical component at an angle theta theta is the angle so the horizontal component is given by dfx vertical component is given by dfy and we will calculate consider a curved surface ab submerged in a static fluid and uh, consider a small area da of the surface ab at a depth of h from the water surface so h is the height of this small area from the free surface of the water and the pressure intensity da equal to rho g h rho g into h is the pressure intensity acting on the surface and the pressure force df act on the normal to the area equal to df equal to p into area which is rho g h into da now the total pressure force acting on the curved surface f equal to integral rho g h da here the force acting on the curved surface is not same in all directions hence the integration of the above, uh, above equation uh, integration of the equation for curved surface is impossible because it is a curved surface it is not a vertical or horizontal surface however the problem can be solved by resolving the forces in two components dfx and dfy in x and y directions so dfx equal to rho g h da sin theta and dfy equal to rho g h da cos theta so the total force in the x and y directions fx equal to the integral dfx rho g into h da sin theta integral h da sin theta and fy equal to integral dfy which is rho g into integral h da cos theta so the total force on the curved surface is calculated by f equal to square root of fx square plus fy square and the inclination of the resultant force with the horizontal direction tan phi equal to tan phi equal to fy divided by fx so fx is the total force on the projected area of the curved surface in vertical plane and fy is the weight of the liquid supported by the curved surface up to the free surface of the liquid so we stop here so these are all the books i published in mechanical engineering subject and you may find the fluid mechanics and machinery a book published by me you can use it for further details and i have a youtube channel where i upload the video lectures on the subject mentioned in the slide also the solution for the gate questions are also uploaded in the uh, youtube channel you subscribe the channel use the videos for your better learning so thank you for watching please post your comments on the comments box you subscribe the channel for updated videos and you can contact me through my mail id or whatsapp number for further clarification in the subject so thank you we'll meet again in another video on the fluid statics